Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, now today we're probably going to have a lot of videos. Um, there's been a lot that's come out uh, with Comic-Con coming up this weekend. Um, we've had several movie trailers drop, so this is probably going to be one of three or four videos that's probably going to come out today. Um, but the first one I'd like to take a look at is I want to do a trailer breakdown of Top Gun 2 Maverick. Now, um... I'm a, I'm a relative fan of the original Top Gun. I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's outstanding, um, but you know, it, it's a it's a relatively good movie. I like it. I think it's one of the better Tom Cruise movies, um, especially from the, especially from the '80s. Uh, you know, you had a lot of really good actors in it: uh, Tom Skerritt, Val Kilmer. Um, so this is the long, you know, I've done this before, the long-awaited sequel, um, and. With this, uh, we've kind of caught up uh, with Tom Cruise's Maverick character. And uh, the beginning of this trailer uh, shows... You, you begin with just a visual of an F-18 Hornet uh, kind of skimming over the ground. It's probably, it looks like it's maybe like 20 or 30 feet above the ground. It's, it's skimming what looks like a dry lake bed or something like that. Um, and it's going forward and... As you're doing that, you hear uh, this monologue come over from uh, Ed, actor Ed Harris, um, and it appears that he plays uh, some kind of superior. He's Tom Cruise's uh, superior officer in this, and basically they kind of the early part of this trailer is kind of meant to catch you up with Tom Cruise, where they say that um, you know for whatever reason you know he's he's basically going over like thirty uh, something years of experience. You're like the best pilot that we have and, and all this. Uh, and it basically said, it, it's basically kind of stating that Tom Cruise has, uh, as Maverick has refused promotion, uh, so that he can stay in the sky so that he can keep flying. Um, because he says you, you should be a two star admiral by now, but you're still a captain. Um, and then we have the, these intercut shots where we show, you know, Tom Cruise kind of doing his thing. You show him back in the, uh, that old flight jacket from the old, from the original Top Gun, uh, and the motorcycle and all this stuff and a bunch of stuff with all the, all the other fighter pilots. Um, and it's meant to kind of get you back in that feeling. They play that Top Gun tune that they had from that movie in the background, uh, which really, really kind of gets you, they, they do, they tend to do this with, um, films that have very nostalgic scores, especially ones from the 80s, where they kind of play that piano tune type of thing in the background where it's the same tune, but it's it's slower and it's lighter and it's kind of meant to ease you back into it. Um, they did it, they've done it with other trailers too, where they've had movies that have, you know, been updated now or had sequels come out much later on. Um, but, uh, you know, the early parts of the trailer are really meant to reintroduce you to Tom Cruise. They're kind of meant to describe what's going on with him. Uh, we see uh, various imagery throughout the whole thing. Uh, so, during these intercuts, you see uh, various things. It looks like there's, there's a funeral at one point. Um, there's uh, Tom Cruise has some form of relationship with a woman who looks to be played by Jennifer Connelly. Um, there, there's a lot of kind of stuff going on uh, that they really quick cut to. We don't really see any of Val Kilmer, which I'm kind of surprised of. We see a little bit of uh, John Hamm's character, who again hasn't, uh, I don't believe, has had his character named. Um, we and really we don't see a whole whole lot. Uh, My, uh, Miles Teller is also in this, uh, but and I think we see him very briefly. But there's a lot of quick cuts. Again, most of the trailer focuses on Tom, the conversation between Tom Cruise uh, and Ed Harris, and. Uh, throughout the trailer, the end is where we kind of introduce the conflict a little bit. They're, they're being very vague about this, which, which is good for a first trailer. You want to be vague. That's the whole point of it. Um, you want to just hook people in, and they're using nostalgia to hook people in, which is what a trailer is uh, of this type is supposed to do, especially with a franchise that's trying to come back. Um, and when the end comes, Ed Harris says, your days are numbered, uh, Maverick, you're, you're going to be extinct soon. And, it, and Tom Cruise basically says, maybe, but not today. Um, and the whole premise that we got originally, uh, when this film was announced, which I think was about a year ago, was that this was going to be Tom Cruise as Maverick versus the drones versus like drone fighters. So it's going to be kind of like the movie stealth, I guess, except not as shitty. Um, but 
that seems to be the conflict that they're building towards. And then, you know, just as a last little nostalgia shot, uh, at the very end of the trailer, they have uh, a shot of an F-14 Tomcat, you know, flying out, which is the, the fighter that they flew in the original Top Gun. Uh, so... Overall, I think the trailer did a good job at what it was aiming to do, which was to lean on nostalgia um, and play up and, and kind of get you back in the rhythm with Tom Cruise and find out what's going on in the Top Gun world and, and how everything's been updated. Uh, I think you'll see Val Kilmer in probably the next trailer and some of the other characters that are going to be popping up uh, a little bit more. I think they'll probably lay off on Tom Cruise a little bit and try to give the other characters a little bit of a spotlight for a second trailer. Uh, now, this movie is going to be coming out in 2020, uh, so so they, there's a fair amount of time before uh, this film comes out. I assume it's probably going to be a summer release, early summer uh, to midsummer release. Uh, they'll probably have to go around a lot of the other tentpole films since this is kind of an establishing one. Now, uh, for people that are, are really big fans of the original Top Gun and kind of what it was at the time, I don't know how well it's going to take to updating because... The original Top Gun isn't, um, it's very much a product of the 80s in a lot of ways. So I don't know uh, how well you're going to be able to update certain things. Um, but, you know, maybe if if they do this right, um, they, they might be able to kind of hook those people back in. And again, this trailer didn't show anything that treaded on the original Top Gun. It seems to be honoring it in a fair way. Um, and I don't think there's anything here to be concerned about as of yet. I think this trailer did a very good job, and I think that uh, assuming that the advertising and anything else that is going to come out over the weekend at Comic-Con, um, as long as it stays true to the original film and they don't try and warp it and screw it up, uh, I think they'll be fine. So now... Uh, that we've gone through that. I want to know uh, your opinion. Now, what do you think about uh, Top Gun having a sequel? Uh, and what do you think about the trailer? As usual, I will link the trailer below in the description if you would like to watch it. Um, you know, I like to. I want to know your thoughts. You know, if if you're excited for this, I want to know if you're excited. If you think this is a, a bad idea, you know, another drudging up of an '80s franchise that uh, isn't going to work. You know, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Again, I like to know what you're thinking. Hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe, and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?